there, horror fans. It's Lorna Paul from TheStream.TV here for the Hatchet 3 premiere at the Egyptian Theater. And we're talking with Scream Queen herself, Danielle Harris. So lovely, yes. Danielle. Hi. So great to see you. Nice Looking gorgeous. You. Thank you. Thank you. And you as well. Well, thank you very much. So everybody knows you as the Scream Queen. Yes. Is there a role out there that you haven't played that you are, sorry for the pun, dying to play? <laughs> um, I just would love to be on a show that's syndicated. No, <laughs> no actually, kind of the truth. Uh, no, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it depends, like, as far as the, the genre stuff. I mean, I think I've kind of done it, done it all a little bit. Um, a romantic comedy would be a lovely break. Maybe on the beach somewhere fantastic, you know? Um, yeah, that's probably it. A nice, a nice little romantic comedy would be, would be, would be really cool. <laughs> that would change Maybe it up a bit. Like I don't know, Fiji or something like that. A little wicked That'd sense of humor versus yeah. like you know, running, crying, and screaming, covered in blood in the swamps of Louisiana. Now I know what you were talking about when I needed a sneak peek. Lots of yes, blood. Lots of blood. More than I think yes. I've ever seen. I did a yes. lot of screaming. Yeah, you did. Right. Good. And jumping. It's good. Good. <laughs> I did. But it's still good fun too. You know, it's like. It's not, I mean, all, that stuff is so big, like, you can't take it seriously. It's like last year when the movie was pulled from theaters, or they didn't want to give it, excuse me, they didn't want to give it, like, a certain rating because it was so gruesome, but yet you have movies like Saw and Hustle and all these, like, really hardcore movies that actually go to theater and get an R rating. It's kind of crazy. These it, movies are fun. It was you know? fearful fun, yes. and it was, you know, you all got some serious mouths on you down there in the South. I know, right? <laughs> Finally, I get to talk shit in this movie. Favorite Wait line in this oh, movie? God, uh, <laughs> I think I something about fisting someone's ass. Thank you. Thank I'm you. so glad you said <laughs> that. That might be my favorite line. Is that wrong? Is that my favorite line? Kind of maybe in any movie that I've done. Hey, Adam wrote it. I just said it. That wasn't me. It was in the script, right? It's in the script. Yes. I wondered yes. about that. I was like, did oh, Danielle yeah. have a oh, no, bad no, day? I'm not that clever. <laughs> no, that's all Adam Green. So another question: What yeah. do you think makes a killer iconic? From the Victors to the Freddies to the Jasons. Um, I think it's kind of luck of the draw. You know, it's really hard to create a new monster because everything has kind of been done before. Um, I think something that looks great, that's kind of scary and messed up. I mean, I like practical effects. You know, I think yeah. there's so much like CG stuff that it kind of kills it and takes it away because they 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 look fake. Right. So I think that Victor is kind of real, and Kane brings this his presence. So I, you know, I don't know. There, it's hard because I'm friends with all these guys right. that play killers. So I, I don't want to insult one of them by saying that the other one is better than the other one. But I mean, all the Jasons, all the Freddies, all the Victors, all the well, there's only one Victor. Yeah. And there's really only one Jason. I mean, Derek is Jason. But right. So you recently also had your directorial debut. Yeah, I did, yeah. Want to tell us a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, my friends. Actually, today I found uh, the trailer, the new trailer that um, Lionsgate cut is available online. Just totally different from the other trailers, so it's a chance for fans to kind of really see what the movie's about. It's really awesome. Uh, we have an end of uh, I forget the date. I think it's the 17th of August is the release for the DVD and video on demand. So nice. I'm really excited. It's fun. It's kind of like a messed up. Kind of chick flick, but not really a chick flick. Um, just a lot of chicks made it, so that's why I think it's chick flick. You know, it's got boobs and it's got some drugs and it's got some lesbian action, some you know threesomes. They're just buying all tickets this now. Stuff, all this stuff that makes for a good movie. Very cool. So, is there any little sneak peek into Danielle? Something that your fans don't know? Oh God. I'm kind of an open book. So I feel like they probably know more than they should. At least they follow me on Twitter. They know what, they know what my dog does on a daily basis. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm just pretty normal, I guess. That was but they don't. Maybe they don't want to hear that I'm normal. I don't know. I like I cook Carly? a lot of like you know Jewish food for my friends. Like I make brisket and have like dinner parties and um, I, I had a glass of champagne before I came and all my friends depend on me to do their makeup and their hair and pick out their wardrobe. Even you were like, can I text you and let you know what I'm wearing? Like it's just sort of I'm the mama bear. I we guess. need fashion advice. I guess. Right. Well, you're yeah. looking gorgeous. Thank you. Congratulations so on your engagement Thank as well you. on the premiere. This is Lorna Paul from TheStream.TV wrapping it up here at the Egyptian Theater in Hollywood for the premiere of Hatchet 3.